Upon logging in, you'll arrive at your main dashboard homepage. Here, you'll see an overview of your absences sorted chronologically in an easy-to-read table with pertinent information. Approval status is now quickly visible directly on the homepage. Hover over an icon for additional information. You can sort your absences by reason, location, and classification by clicking on any of those headers. Clicking a specific absence will provide a view of additional information, including approval level and last action. Additional class instructions can be left for a previously created absence by clicking the Edit button. You may choose to upload a document or media from your computer. Always be sure to submit your changes. If an absence is able to be canceled, You'll be able to do that from this area as well by clicking Cancel Absence. All notifications can now be accessed quickly from the bell icon at the top of the screen. You'll see a badge listing the number of new notifications. Here, you can view all messages and pin notifications you'd like to keep prioritized. Use the Back button to navigate back to the homepage. Creating a new absence is easier than ever. To begin, simply click Create Absence. Choose the closest match for the reason you'll be absent. Choose the dates you'll be out, and choose Next to continue. Complete the additional information for the schedule. For now, we'll use the simple schedule since we'll only be gone for a day. Choose whether to match an available substitute, or select a specific substitute. You have the ability to add class instructions for the substitute to follow, and any additional files for reference from your computer using the Add Files option. When you've completed filling out the form, select Submit to send the absence for approval. Choosing My Calendar will display all of your absences, including Job ID, in an easy-to-read calendar view. Icons next to the absence listing show, at a glance, what portion of the day you'll be out. Use the legend to familiarize yourself with the icons. Clicking any item in the calendar will bring up the additional information window. You now have the ability to view your schedule in a read-only format by choosing My Schedule. If you need some additional help in navigating and using your portal, Access our online documentation by choosing the question mark icon in the top navigation bar. Finally, clicking on your initials in the navigation bar gives you access to review and edit personal and account information 